Peace. This is Wise for Wise Words Media. Back at y'all for another round. And fight fans, we have breaking news of the unfortunate variety. And that is that we received word that Keith, who used to be called one time for a different reason. I'm calling him one time Thurman because you only see him one time in the ring every two years. Keith Thurman has now withdrew from next week's pay-per-view main event which he was supposed to headline against Tim Zhu from Australia. This pay-per-view was supposed to be PBC's premier Amazon Prime boxing show. It was supposed to be their debut. It's supposed to set the stage for the future of boxing, pretty much. Now that cable boxing outside of ESPN, even though ESPN largely uses the app as well, that's the only existing cable entity that still uses uh that still shows boxing you know the two big figureheads of boxing before were hbo boxing showtime boxing but now since showtime closed its doors at the end of last year now the only cable outlet that shows boxing is espn so the wave the new wave the wave of the future is streaming you see that even wrestling, WWE, is now signed to Netflix for like a five-year deal to show Monday Night Raw there. So this is the new wave, and PBC is jumping on the current, and they signed the deal. They inked the deal with Amazon Prime, and this was supposed to be the debut. This was supposed to be a big fight between Thurman and, um, and Tim Zhu. However, replacing Keith Thurman will be the giant, Sebastian Fandora. And Fandora is coming off a bad defeat. Where he took he got knocked out. He's coming off a bad defeat. So stylistically, I like this fight. I like this fight. You know, Tim Zhu versus Keith Thurman, a prime, readily available. Fully engaged and taking this craft serious Keith Thurman versus Tim Zhu would be a fantastic fight. However, Keith one time, now before he used to stand, one time used to stand for he'll hit you just one time and you get knocked out. One time now really means the dude, you only see him like one time every two, three years. So we don't really know what version of Keith Thurman we were going to get. You know what I'm saying? But at least right now, Sebastian Fundor is somebody who just naturally poses a threat being that he is that tall he's like six foot seven and he comes in you know ready to bang he's he, he's coming in there he's not using his height he doesn't fight his height he comes in there to brawl mexican style even as tall as he is which puts him at a disadvantage but he he comes into brawl he comes into brawl he doesn't fight his height so Expect him and Tim Zhu to still give us fireworks. This fight might be a blessing in disguise because I think this fight might even be better than a Keith Thurman versus uh, Tim Zhu, especially since Keith Thurman hasn't really been active like that. So, again, we don't know what version of Keith Thurman we're going to get. Are we going to get the one that struggled against Jose Cito Lopez? Or, I mean, excuse me, uh, against Jesse Vargas? Or are we going to get, like, a throwback? That fought up against Sean, um, Sean Porter type Keith Thurman. So we don't know which Keith Thurman we're going to get. So I, I'd rather see a Sebastian Fandora who's coming off a huge defeat and needs a huge victory to catapult his name back into the elite of the junior middleweight division. And this fight right here is the one. This is the one that could really do it. He can go up against Tim Zhu, who has built a lot of momentum in the past couple of years, especially since him and Charlo, Jamel Charlo, was supposed to be fighting a couple of years back. That fight never materialized, be it Charlo's injuries or because a bigger, uh, a bigger fight was presented to Charlo last September, which was supposed to be the time when Charlo and Zoo were supposed to fight. Instead, Zoo had to wait 
because Charlo wanted to take on Canelo. So now we're left with um, Fandora against Zhu. And I think, again, I think this is going to be a good fight. We also on that card, the co-feature has... Um, the co-feature has Roly Romero versus Pitbull. So that, you know, Romero versus Pitbull, that's going to be good. Roly versus Pitbull is going to be one that is going to be another action-packed fight with the potential of somebody hitting the canvas. So I, I'm looking forward to this pay-per-view, but it is, it is disappointing that somebody that has so much promise that was supposed to be, you know, one of the... One of the people in the forefront for this generation. He was supposed to be right there with your Terrence Crawfords and your Errol Spences. And he was supposed to, he was right there with them, neck and neck. And he just fell to the wayside, you know. So, unfortunately, he's out, but Fandora's in. Let me know what y'all think about that fight. How y'all think it's going to play out. Do you actually agree with me? Do you think that fight might be even better than a Thurman versus Zoo? So... Drop some bars. Let's build on Watch for Wise Words Media. Peace.